is up fellow DIY vanners. We today are going to show you how we put up our Renergy solar panels. So we have two 100 watt solar panels that we are putting up there. You can see they're up there right now, um, just resting. So we're gonna get that all set up. So we're gonna show you how we did it and kind of take you along our journey. So let's do it. So we got the panels up on the roof. So we have 200 watts of solar panel. Uh, so now, we're just trying to lay them out, figure out how best to mount them. And then we have kind of that little housing. So we're just gonna decide where we're gonna put that housing so that we can drill holes into the van and then the, run the wires into the van. So just doing a little bit of mapping out and figuring out exactly where everything needs to be placed so that we can fit all 20 feet of our wiring and get it to the battery slash solar charger. So this is the housing that we bought straight from Renogy. So basically you will drill two holes into the roof that will fit the, um, the wiring. And then you put this over top and then you'll silicone around so that you have kind of like a little house for the wires to come out. So right now we're just trying to decide where we are going to place this into the roof. So right now we're just getting the connectors and we're just gonna lay out all the wiring just to make sure that where we're gonna place that housing is actually gonna be in a good spot where it's gonna be easy to get all the wires through and run through the van. So just a bit more planning and being 100% sure before we start drilling holes in. And then I think the easiest way we're gonna do it is we're actually gonna take the Prinsu bars off. So the ones that are gonna be um, actually drilled and attached to the solar panels, we're gonna just physically take them off the vehicle and then attach everything to them and then lift it back onto the vehicle versus trying to work on the roof and trying to like reach under small gaps and figure everything out. I think the easiest way will be to uh, pre-mount them and then lift it back up. So we're gonna try that out and see how it works. And if it doesn't work, we'll report back and figure out what we're gonna do. So right now we're just connecting the solar panels together so we have those i believe they're called like m adapters why why close m y basically the same thing so basically we have the y connectors we're just going to put this solar panel connected to that one and then we will have them together so that we can plan out where we're going to put this little housing here which we're planning to put underneath the solar panel so that not only will it be sealed but it'll also be protected by the solar panel so less likely to get water and stuff on it and we will be running our solar panels in what joel parallel we'll be running them in parallel i am the electrical master here so i know all the important words all right so that's what we're just kind of working on right now yep i'm gonna help him so i have to put the camera down slide it forward there okay so we are now putting together the Y connectors, right Joel? Y. 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 And we'll be putting them in parallel. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Yes. Should we talk about Joel's color coding system here? This isn't mine yet. It's not yours yet? Oh yeah. We just had like a five minute argument on the logistics of color coding. There. Cool, so those are connected and then we're just gonna figure out kind of where now the extensions are gonna be where they'll fit in through the housing and then we'll drill two holes, which we will show you and then we'll get this bad boy wired up and mounted. Okay, so that is where the wires are gonna be sitting basically and then we have a 20 foot extension that will then be running through that housing. So we are going to basically just be drilling two holes and putting this housing somewhere kind of right in there and then that way we can run the wires internally in the van so that they're protected versus externally along the rack, which was originally what we thought we were gonna have to do. We'll also show you on the wires, we have a 20 amp um, fuse? fuse. That's actually an external, like completely waterproof one that just connects into one of those wires. So we will also show that. So we are just confirming our measurement just to make sure that we have enough space between the pillar gaps or like the cross members that we have enough space for the wires to then be run inward towards the wall and then we're going to run it along with the rest of the wiring assembly inside which we will show later but right now we're just finalizing our measurements all right 
Third set of holes going in the van. So a little update, uh, we are deciding to make the holes a little bit bigger after feeding it through. It just looks like there's a bit too much tension on the edges and it's um, like we're going to insulate and like protect the wires, but we still want to make them a bit bigger just so there's not that sharp edge that's closely resting. So we are going to make the holes bigger just for safety purposes. Well, storm just rolled in. We got the holes done, but we didn't get everything siliconed on. So we're duct taping her up. So after like three hours of raining, we're taking the tape off the spot and we're getting back at it, just drying it up on the other side so we can silicone it down. Okay, so we are now running them through here. And then we are going to gauge our length for how far we're gonna need. And then we are also going to insulate around here so that the wires are protected. All right, so rain has finally stopped for the time being, so we're gonna try and at least get this silicone down. Um, we didn't have any like conduit or anything, but we figured we'd maybe use some butyl tape to just kind of like wrap around these wires just to protect them in the holes so there's not any kind of like abrasion or cutting. So we're going to wrap butyl tape around where the, um, the wires will go through the holes. And then that way also it should just help kind of like seal those holes to keep them from leaking. I know that the housing will also add a layer of protection, but we thought just a bit of butyl tape wouldn't hurt. So we're going to wrap that. And again, that'll protect the wires themselves. And then we will put them in the holes that we drilled and then we will silicone around the housing and then that will be done. So we just butyl taped. Just and then we electrical taped over top of it just so it wasn't super sticky trying to get it into the holes. So we're now going to put that down and into the holes and then we will silicone around and then we will be done with this section. So we now have the one solar panel attached to that bar and then we are going to get the other bar and have everything attached over there and then the other solar panel. So slowly coming along. Okay, so now we have connected the solar panels on with the bars. So now we just have to screw the bars in and we're good. Everything is connected in there just underneath. You can see they're there, they're there. Everything's just gonna be kinda under the roof there and